Hi everyone, I really hope you are doing great. Today I'm coming to you with my best and worst purchases of 2023. If you're expecting worst purchases to be purchases that I regret buying, then I have to disappoint. Uh, some of these items uh, I would buy again. Some have proven to be not what I expected. So let us start with the first piece. By the way, everything you see in this video will be linked down below. And I should also mention these links are usually not only for Europeans. So if you are American, for example, uh, those links should work for you as well. Anyway, now with this bag, this bag is a controversial one because I wouldn't recommend this bag to everyone. I would recommend this bag to somebody who has got a bag collection already, you know, and has got a little bit spare money for fun. <laughs> so I was aware of this, what I'm telling you, right? But I am so surprised that I use this bag for almost every day. I absolutely love this bag. You know, my outfits are usually plain, you know, and this one, this one adds a little bit of fun to my outfits. So I'm really pleasantly surprised with this bag. Having said that, this bag scratches really easily. So if you don't like scratches, I mean, I don't mind scratches, but some of the scratches, I don't know. I mean, I have really short nails, right? Some scratches, one scratch uh, specifically is really deep. But yeah, I just uh, wanted to mention that. And also this bag comes in so many beautiful colors. They have released a beautiful red one, burgundy red, beautiful. I should also mention, this is the Alaya heart shape bag. Staying with bags, I also have to mention this one. This has been such a great purchase. I absolutely love uh, this Dragon Diffusion bag. I have tried so many to come uh, to a conclusion that uh, for me, uh, when it comes to dragon diffusion bags, this kind of shapes uh, work best. I love this woven style. It goes with everything. It is, uh, and I love the fact that this one stays uh, like this, because if you have uh, tried a few of their bags, you know that they collapse. This is just how they are, right? And nothing wrong with that, but I prefer um, this shape because it stays put like it is. So next one may come as a surprise to you when I say that this bag hasn't been the best purchase. I love this bag, don't get me wrong, but because I have this one and they are both very small bags, um, I don't know, I always gravitate towards this bag. But I'm sure at some point I will uh, start using this bag more, but for now, because I don't um, reach out that much for this bag. I would uh, categorize this bag as a bad purchase, but I would purchase it again <laughs> because it is beautiful. And I'm sure at some point I will use this bag um, more. I mean, you can use it as a clutch. No, it is a beautiful one. I think at this moment, I am a bit spoiled for choice because uh, I have many bags in this size. And this was also the reason why I sent that um, the Row 90s bag uh, back even though I loved that bag, but it wouldn't really add anything to my wardrobe. You know, having so many bags in the same size is not really helpful. As for now, because I don't use this bag that much, I would say this was not my best purchase, even though I would buy it again. So next purchase that is definitely one of the best purchases, uh, I would say <laughs> for many years to come, hopefully, are these shoes. These shoes, I love them. They are not only beautiful, but also comfortable. And, oh, did I mention they are beautiful? <laughs> it was love at first sight and and I still love them so, so much. They are from Le Monde Beryl and I have styled uh, these shoes in so many ways. I mean, they are so, so versatile. The only bad thing about these shoes is they are summer shoes or for warmer months. Also, Le Monde Beryl shoes are handcrafted in Italy. Maybe we should stick to accessory and I show you this beauty. <laughs> no, but it's not about this bag, about uh, these glasses. I absolutely love these glasses and they have to be one of my best purchases 
uh, for this year. They are very comfortable and they give me exactly the amount of uh, protection I want in the winter months or in the colder months, in the months that uh, the sky is overcast and it's not that sunny, but you still want to have uh, protection and also they are great against wind if you are contacts vera you know what i mean wind can be really painful for your eyes this one i really loved this by isabel marin at the beginning and they still look good right i think the thing with these sunglasses is they have a vibe right they have a vibe and you have to be in the mood for this vibe i hope this makes sense and uh, yes of course i'm not always in the mood for cool <laughs> and this is maybe the reason why I don't reach out that much uh, for them. By the way, if you are new to my channel and you love good quality fashion from high-end brands but also from high street, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you here. I try to show you really good quality pieces and make it easier for you to make an informed decision. So it would be lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. Next, this jacket. This jacket is such a beautiful one, but I'm telling you, this is by H&M Premium, by the way. I was really excited when I got this one. It is beautiful, but it is not that warm. Let me just show you. As you can see, it has got a really relaxed and cool cut, but unfortunately it is not that warm and uh, somehow it looks like a jacket, but it acts like a cardigan more or less. So for this reason, if I were to buy this kind of jacket again, I would go probably for something similar. I have seen something very similar from Totem. I will link that one down below for you because that one, looks very timeless, beautiful. And some people have uh, told me that that one is warm. So um, for this reason, I regret buying this one and I uh, wished I went for the totem one, you know, in the first place. Next, we have this jumper by Max Mara. I bought this one not long ago, actually a few months ago, but I'm telling you, this has been such a great purchase. It is not that thick, it's not weighty, but it is so, so warm. And I love it for that. Of course, the color is beautiful as well, and the cut, I love it, but uh, I love the fact that it keeps me warm. <laughs> Unlike this one by H&M. This must be one of my actually uh, favorite jumpers. I love the cut of it, but it is, and it is 100% cashmere. This one is 100% virgin wool. Even though this one is 100% cashmere, it is still not as warm as this one. And this is actually sad because I really love this one. This is one of my favorite uh, jumpers. It is very long, as you can see. Uh, can you see it's long and very, very oversized, but not as warm as it looks. Maybe we should move on to jeans. Two, I mean, all my jeans purchases have been so good this year and I love them all but the two styles that really stick out uh, to me are these by Ray. This one is a new addition to my wardrobe but I have this exact uh, same style in grey but a size uh, bigger. So uh, I will link them down below because uh, they have a few of these uh, jeans. I will make sure to give you the link to exactly these because I absolutely love them. They are not for everyone, I'm aware of this. This is quite messy here, but I love a bit of messy look. And then another pair that I absolutely love, and again, is not maybe for everyone. And if they were not that expensive, I would have them in all the colors, are uh, the Citizen of Humanity jeans, you know, the horseshoe style jeans. They I, I have worn them. I have worn them so, so much and I just love them. I think they are very flattering. I, I really feel so good every time I wear them, also with these. And this is what actually matters, right? 
So moving on to shirts. I mean, how many times did I mention this shirt on my channel? I absolutely love this shirt. And I would love to add a few more shirts from Ralph Lauren to my wardrobe. This one is very long. I would like to have shorter ones. I would like to have this shirt in different washes, the same shirt in different washes. This is how much I love this shirt, right? So, because this one comes also in a darker wash. So that one would be great to have as well. Again, a piece that uh, goes with everything and uh, works all year round, actually. You can wear it as a shirt, as an actual shirt, but also as an overshirt. And if you are very petite, you could even wear this one as a dress because it is quite long. So next, another shirt. I have washed this one so many times. I have worn this one so many times. I love the style of it. It's very unique, but still uh, very wearable. And uh, yes, I absolutely love it. I will see if I can find this one online and um, link it down below for you. Because last time somebody asked for it, it was really difficult for me to find it. I found it at the end after searching and searching for it uh, in black, but in white I couldn't. I will have a look for you anyway. And as for t-shirts, I absolutely love two t-shirts that I own and they are both in the washing, sorry, from Totem. The black one, I will uh, give you cutaways here. I have gotten so many compliments on that black plain t-shirt you can't even even imagine it's got such a beautiful cut and i love the length of the uh, sleeves and also i have it in gray and that one in gray i love the the shade of the gray i love the quality and again the cut is amazing so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you soon on my next one. Till then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.